So what is going on everybody? Welcome to your 7th MongoDB tutorial. My name is Mehul and in this tutorial I'm gonna discuss about MongoRC.js and this file is kinda cool because this allows you to customize your Mongo shell a little bit because this file runs before your Mongo shell runs so where this file is is that you can just look at this file in C users your username for your computer then you will just find this file right there sitting blank do not create this file this would be automatically there waiting for you and for Mac users the process would be kind of similar you would just have to locate this file in your user account folder or something so in your terminal what you have to do is sometimes like uh, you are writing mongo and you just create an object with most awesome optimized settings ever mongo has ever experienced so you create a ton of objects right there but you then finally realize that you want to edit the object well that's a nightmare then because you you are working on an you know on a command line and it's not kind of feasible to edit multi-line things in command line because it kind of just allows you to work on one command only at a time so that is kind of pain so what you can do is you can make a default editor for command line so whenever you say like edit my variable then that editor fires up and you would be pretty much good to go so what you have to do in mongo rc is say editor then your path to sublime text and you could just actually write sublime text only as well if you have sublime text set up in your variable and the reason we are writing such weird stuff is that uh, there are no spaces allowed in your path so you need to make use of this thing so anyways just save it and uh, exit and then again enter mongo and now if I create like where my object is a blank one and I say uh, like edit my object hit enter you see that a mongo file is created and right here I can add tons of properties like awesome prop is true I am awesome is false or actually rather very true right like that so now there's a twist actually you see that I have saved this file but the editor is still waiting for something because I'm not got this thing right there so it obviously tells me that I'm not able I would not be able to write some more commands so see when I close this you see that it uh, kinda it should bring back that thing well we do have two editors right now you see that it's back to normal but if I write my object you see that I get all these properties listed so that is how pretty much you create a editor a default editor and now what you can do is you can just say edit my object and it would fire off sublime like a magic and you can just edit your properties and just save it close this file to make changes happen and then go back to your bash uh, no sorry this is your mongo tv terminal or whatever you call this mongo shell or whatever so the next thing i was gonna tell you about in this tutorial is the prompt one so this prompt is kinda this is a function which would allow you to give a little bit of customizability how your prompt in mongodb looks like so without wasting any time i'm gonna quickly show you how to work with this so i'm gonna say prompt is a function and this function is uh, simply return db right so db and a little bit of space and a dollar sign if you you know convince you you're working on linux so i'm gonna just exit this thing and uh, right here i'm gonna say mongo hit enter and you can see now instead of getting that ugly greater than sign which is kind of unsupportful and meaningless so now we are getting a test which is a database name right right there and a dollar sign right so it kind of looks awkward but okay now what i'm gonna do is say use mdb hit enter you see pretty cool now we have switched to mdb and it's pretty awesome to just 
take a look at at, at which database we are working we don't need to kind of like add uh, you know just write db every time to show which database we are working on so you can pretty much customize it a little bit more like when add an operation counter like you can say like uh, ops is equal to zero and then right there you can say uh, like uh, then you can say pretty much plus plus ops and make sure you just run that thing in brackets and now if you just take a look here exit mongo hit enter you can see that i get test one then a dollar see what happens now if i write like uh, show dbs you know you see that the command has changed to two now like i write uh, use mdb hit enter it changed to three i'm gonna say mdb dot uh, i don't remember any name kind of mdb dot find there's nothing no document right now so I'll add mdb so anyways you know you get the idea you have now an updated counter right there and you can just pretty much do anything you want you can like show a date here you can show current time your working time and pretty much play around it with a little and uh, once you're done then uh, just move on to the next tutorial so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one real quick